I'm going to talk about compromise. A lot of Christians are compromising and uh, it's not a good thing. In the Revelation in chapter 2, around verses 12 through 17, there was a, a letter written to the church at uh, Pergamos. And uh, that was the issue with that church. They were, they, the seat of Satan, the house of Satan was right in that same vicinity. And in other words, there was just all types of uh, idolatry. Uh, there was an altar to Zeus there. There was all types of uh, wickedness running rampant, very similar to the United States of America today. And there was a church there, Pergamos, and uh, Jesus said that he appreciated that they didn't deny their faith and all that. However, he had that one thing against them. You know, they took on the doctrine of the Nicolaitans. They took on the doctrine, you know, of uh, they took on some false doctrines and started compromising. Uh, and, and so this there's danger. And he said, if you don't repent, I'm going to have to uh, come against you with the two edged sword. And, you know, in some of those other churches, he said, I'm going to remove your candlestick. Look, the Bible is still true today, no matter what this secular humanistic society in America is producing right now. The Bible is still true. And saints of God, we can't be compromising. You know, with all these issues going on today, there was a time where abortion was wrong. Now they made it easy. And there, you know, people like Planned Parenthood, they're aborting 3 million babies a year. There was a time where you couldn't be living together, not married. Now, you know, it's a go. And Christians, you can't compromise with this because the word is still the same. God's word is still true. So a lot of women are allowing men to live with them for, for years before they even get married. And we wonder what's wrong with our society today. Look at how we're raising up our children. And then also uh, now this gay issue. Everybody gay got to get out there and identify their sexual preference before anything. You know, he's not a doctor. He's a gay doctor. He's not a football player. He's a homosexual football player. Why can't, what happened to the day when you were just that person of your profession? Now Christians going to have to come when they do a dissertation or a speech somewhere, they're going to have to get up to the podium and say, I'm a bona fide Bible believing Christian. And I believe in everything the word of God said from Genesis to the revelation. I'm straight. I don't believe in fornication being a normal, normal moral. I don't believe homosexuality and lesbianism and all that to be normal or altered lifestyles. I believe it's a sin. And now let me get on with my speech. And you got to almost identify yourself the same way that they're doing it now trying to push it down society's throat to accept it. But uh, Christians, you can't compromise and allow those things to just infiltrate your life. The book of Jews said that there were ungodly men who had crept in unnoticed. It's creeping into the church. And that's what was happening in Pergamos. They allowed some of those old doctrines to come right on in. Now they're ordaining homosexuals and everything else. And Christians are just allowing everything and anything. The pastors and bishops and apostles so-called are allowing all this madness going on as well. And no more, there's no more compromise. Everybody got to do right in the sight of God because we all have to stand before him in judgment. The word of God is still the truth. The word of God is still the same. It has not changed. So Christians, I'm just sending this out. You can't keep compromising. We're going to have to stand for what's right. And that's what's happening in America today. We just bowed our knee to the knee of Balaam, bowed to the knee of Balaam. And, and now we got everything, you know, we, all, everything has been changed now. That's why we got all these amendments. Everything's been changed. You can't hang the... Uh, Constitution, or you can't hang uh, the Ten Commandments in the court of law. They don't want you to pray in school. I'm gonna, I'm pushing this because this is what has happened. We begin to compromise, and there was a, there was a time where we had a strong moral fabric. And again, this is why people wonder what's going on in America. We lost God. We're straight away from God and all the tenets of faith and then all the principles that are in the canon. We straight away from those things what the founding fathers had uh, based the Constitution upon. We straight away from it. So no more compromise. Let's come on, get it right. No more compromise. We can't compromise anymore. We're going to have to do right in the sight of God. And when the righteous rule, the nation rejoice. When the wicked rule, the nation mourns. Hey, and we got to stand for what's right. So Christians, come on, pray and intercede. Intercede for our government. Intercede for your churches. Let's do right in the sight of God. Now click subscribe. Click subscribe to BFABP.com. That's believers from a biblical perspective. Also, go to anthonyblackmanministries.com and check out some of the, the materials that we have available there as well. Just peruse the site, see what you're interested in, and then, you know, go ahead and see how you can occupy yourself some of that material there. Anyway, praise God for you. I keep you lifted up. Hallelujah. Click subscribe, and, and I'm telling you, every day I'm calling you out in prayer. In Jesus' name, amen.